Hi there, this is Noah with the ERS FEC Training Department. This is going to be a video tutorial on users and groups. Let's go ahead and get started by clicking into Admin, General Config, Users. And let's go ahead and add a new user. So let's go ahead and fill out the basic information in here. Passwords need to be three characters or more. That said, we do recommend a strong password. Now each user does need to be assigned to a group, that's very important, otherwise they will not be able to log into the point of sale app or the back end. In fact, that's the most common issue that our customers have with logging into the control panel or the point of sale system. So if any of your employees are telling you they're having a hard time logging into either the control panel or the point of sale system, double check to see that their user profile has a group assigned. Johnny is my SEO consultant, and none of these groups actually have exactly the right permission levels, so we're going to edit our groups in just a minute here to get the right permission levels in place. So we'll take care of that in just a moment, but first I want to finish filling out this basic information. Now it is important to have the first name listed if you intend to assign this user to any parties or events. In this case, I'm not going to bother specifying a mobile carrier because, again, Johnny is my SEO consultant and I don't anticipate that I'm going to send him any text messages through the system. But for any employee that you do think that you might send text messages through the system, a mobile carrier is required. Now, I'm not going to bother with any of these other advanced fields. We'll cover those in a little bit here. But first, I just need to make sure to establish a timeout in minutes, as I want Johnny to be logged out of the system after 10 minutes of inactivity, just as a precaution. Now that timeout in minutes will log Johnny out of this, the back end or control panel. It will not log Johnny out of the point of sale app. There's a different area where we can set timeout periods for the point of sale app, and we'll cover that in just a moment here. Now user pin is important. That's what we use to log into the point of sale app. In this particular case, since Johnny is an SEO consultant and not a regular employee, he's never going to use the point of sale app, so I'm actually not going to establish a user pin for him. But you will want to go ahead and establish a user pin for any employee who's going to be using the point of sale app. Just make sure to use only numbers in the user pin field. Alright, so we've gotten that covered. Let's go ahead and edit our groups. Let's go ahead and create a new group for Johnny. I'm going to call this group SEO Consultants. Now our administrative group is a level 10, and I'm going to go ahead and give the SEO consultants the same level, but we're going to restrict their access to certain parts of the system using the disallow field. So we'll cover that in a moment, but first let's talk more about levels. So level 10 essentially gives you full access to the entire system. The manager group is level 8 by default, and this means they have almost total administrative privileges, almost as much as level 10. The only things managers cannot do is change things like price rules, availability rule sets, and adjustments like tax. They do have access to reports and can see financial information. Employees are level 4 by default, and this gives them the ability to schedule events and search for customers. They do not have the permission to change pricing and add fees and that sort of thing. If you'd like these kinds of permissions for a given employee, but you would like to also give them the ability to change pricing and add fees, you can use level 5 for that. Just remember that if you change the level for any group, you're changing the permission level for all members of that group. And you can have as many groups as you want, so if you'd like to have one group for your employees at level 4, and another for higher level employees that you'd like to grant access to changing pricing and fees, you can have two separate employee groups, one of them at level 4 and one of them at level 5. I'm going to make SEO Consultants level 10, which will give Johnny access to the entire folder. Now that's perfectly fine for myself and the other administrative users of this folder, but if I don't want Johnny to see the financials for the company, I can use the disallow field to block Johnny from seeing reports, or any other part of the system for that matter. When we're using the disallow field to restrict access to certain parts of the system, we can enter in the titles of any of the navigation tabs up at the top, or any of the menu headings underneath them. And we need to make sure to match spelling and capitalization exactly. So in this case for Johnny, we went ahead and restricted reports, and we made sure to enter in reports with the capital R, and spelled the same way that it's listed here. So this looks good, I'm going to go ahead and submit. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this group for Johnny. So now that Johnny's profile has been created, I'm going to go ahead and submit. Alright, so there's Johnny's profile in our menu. Let's go ahead and make a new group for our shift managers. And once again, I'm going to input the basic information here. Now once again, we don't have any groups with the correct permission levels, so we'll edit our groups in just a moment here. I am going to specify a mobile carrier, as I might conceivably want to send Julia text messages through the system. And once again, I want as a precaution for Julia to be logged out after 10 minutes of inactivity, and she will be using the point of sale app, so I do need to give her a register pin. So we're good to go here, but first let's just briefly review the advanced settings in here. EULA, or EULA, refers to the end user license agreement, which your users will be prompted to read and agree to when they first sign into the system. And once they've done so, there will be a timestamp that shows when they've done so here under the EULA field. 
Notes is just your internal notes about the employee, insurance is car insurance information, and driver's license number is pretty self-explanatory. So you can use those fields if you ever task the employee with picking up supplies or anything like that. And once again, let's go ahead and create a new group. I'm going to call this Shift Managers. And we're going to go ahead and make this a subgroup of our managers. And we're going to make it a level 5. So this is going to give my shift managers the ability to schedule events and search for customers just like our employees. But since they're going to be level 5 instead of level 4, they'll also be able to change pricing and fees. So this looks good. I'm going to go ahead and submit. And I'm going to choose this group. And we are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and submit here. And we can now see our new user profile and new user group in our list here. So let's go ahead and log out and log back in so we can see what Julia is going to see when she logs in. So as we can see, Julia is going to be prompted to read and agree to the end user license agreement. And now that Julia is logged in, we can see that she does not have access to the admin tab or reports. And the at-a-glance reports that normally show up here in the home area also don't show up for Julia. So everything's working properly here. Let's go ahead and log back in as an administrator. So before we wrap this tutorial, let's click into admin, general config, miscellaneous settings to check our register pin timeout settings. Near the top of the screen is the setting that we're looking for, register pin timeout. As the instructions say, the setting automatically logs the user out of the register in the point of sale app after a certain amount of inactivity. This is what we were discussing earlier. This is to automatically log users out of the point of sale app, whereas the timeout in minutes v3 setting within the user profile itself logs the user out of this, the back end or control panel. So as we can see with register pin timeout, it's set to use seconds as a value. So we've got 300 seconds set here. In other words, our employees using the point of sale system will be automatically logged out of the point of sale app after five minutes of inactivity, since 300 seconds is the same as five minutes. Just remember that if you change any of the settings in here, you need to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and hit save after you do. So that about does it for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. As always, anytime you're working in the system and you have questions, the knowledge base is your good friend. And you can also access the knowledge base by clicking here on the floating help icon. And of course, the tech support department is always happy to help as well. And you can reach them at 505-435-9731, extension 102, or support at eventrentalsystems.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.